This disclaimer will explain why I have been very careful about using trademark brand names only for educational purposes and avoided using photographs that I didn't take. Welcome to the Upgrading Hardware module. This is the base video regardless of which brand you own. The machines in this video are Jet Model Hotel Victor Bravo Sierra-56 Mike and are representative of the machine design employed under many brand names. Brand specific differences will be covered for some of the most popular brands in other modules. The hardware update essentially replaces non-graded bolts and bearings with SAE J429 grade 8 bolts and EMQ electric motor quality blade guide bearings. We will not be replacing every fastener on the saw only the ones which I have experienced failure with. These replacement pieces are commonly available, relatively inexpensive, and will go a long way toward keeping your saw in adjustment. Blade adjuster top and bottom. I am presenting the hardware upgrades in the order that I consider the most important. The blade adjusters that use bearings pressing against the blade sides are critical to keep the blade centered in the cut. The blade adjuster that is in the rear in the horizontal cutting mode and on the bottom in the vertical cutting mode is very easily knocked out of adjustment. This happens in the horizontal cutting mode when a piece of stock follows the blade to the rear and slams into the deflector plate. This can happen as easily as cutting a piece of one by one angle when the freed end of the stock slides sideways and hits the deflector plate. More often though, a poorly clamped piece of stock crashes into the deflector plate when it comes out of the vise. One bolt secures the bearing holder and the bolt supplied is inadequate to hold it in place. Bow Attachment Bolts The entire bow mechanism is reliant upon these two bolt and washer sets. While it might appear that this is an adjustment point, changes here will not change the vertical cut plane. The effect that a change in shimming here can have will be discussed later. To prevent the perpendicular relationship to the miter jaw from changing, use the upgraded fasteners. The saw in the background gives you another perspective on the bolts. Adjustable bracket. Normally this bracket stays as far out as is possible to reduce the unsupported blade length. However, since the supplied hardware not only consists of an ungraded bolt, but also a thin washer that will quickly become deformed, it is not unusual to find that it has moved on its own. Also, this bracket provides a critical support structure for vertical operations. Lightering vise fixed jaw. This jaw positions and maintains the stock alignment. To pivot consistently and not on the threads is necessary for repeatability. In addition, I don't feel the 5 16 inch bolt is large enough to secure the moving end of the jaw. The modification I present later will offer up a way to tighten this bolt very effectively, so we are replacing the bolt with a larger 3 8 inch one. Movable Vice Plate This is not a good place for a bolt. It will not remain in a fixed position and attempting to glue it will make adjustments difficult. We will replace it with a stud thick washer, and elastic lock nut. Your time is valuable. I will speed up the video whenever possible. This is a module about hardware upgrades, so I will only portray replacing the side bearings in place here. The Adjustments Part 1 video will cover the process for preparing the saw for necessary adjustments the first time, so a completely different method of replacing the bearings will be presented there. Replacement of the side bearings while bearing adjusters are installed. Replacing the bow attachment bolts, the washers seem adequate.
Replacing the adjuster, position bolts and washers. A little Loctite secures the pivot bolt while still allowing the miter jaw to adjust. Replacing the clamping jaw bolt with a stud. There is overlap between this video and the adjustment module concerning the blade guide bearings. There is also some overlap with the modifications video concerning replacing the movable jaw bolt with a stud and making thicker washers. Thank you for watching the hardware upgrading video. If you are like me, you will detest it when your tools go out of adjustment. These upgrades will help avoid that. Please continue on to the Adjustments Module Part 1 where we make a few preliminary adjustments and minor modifications.